Hey, it's Joe Glides. In this next video on playing with controls, um, I broke up control get into a couple sections because there's just a lot to cover and I don't want to have the videos too long. Um, so in this one, we're going to we're going to be playing more with edits and radio checkbox type things. And so we're going to start off. Let's do control get and um, let's see if we're going to do checked. Um, yeah, we need to store that. So I'm going to save that in var. I'm looking down below my little cheat sheet here of the things we're going to cover. Um, and then command, I think, let's see, let's do checked. I think it's checked. Um, the value, I think I leave that blank in this one. Control. Now, the checked, here's a simple one. So we're looking for things like this, right? Uh, either possibly a radio checkbox or a, um, I forget what these are called. There's radio and the other one where there's, um, it's an if or or. And this one is just a yes, no, it's on, no, it's not. But um, so here's a button two. Throw that here, and then of course this is HK. Let's do uh, let's do EXE just because I know. Note pad note pad dot EXE, um, and then of course we need to throw this into a message box to see if it comes back. That should be a zero. So it came back a zero because it's not selected. If this was selected and we rerun it. It's a one, right? So it's how you can detect if it's selected or not. So that's where you're getting get from it. I'll set, do it a different one, the setting. Um, but so that's um, get selected, recently selected. So let's switch over to um, yeah, we'll need, we'll need that. So this will be selected. Um, we're gonna look at the selected text in the edit one, one. Right, so this, let's say we select was, the word was. Now when I save this, reload it, and run it, it notice it pulls up was. That's because that's what we, we have the edit one here, which actually if I, I need to drag this here so you can see. So that's the edit one control, right? That's what's selected. If we had selected this and rerun the script, now it has here, right? So that's how you can get this selected. Let's do, um, let's say we knew what row we wanted. Um, so, this would be line and then we tell it what line number let's say we wanted the first line so it doesn't matter what's selected it's going to get the first line or the second line right obviously the third you just change that um current line so this i believe we blank out current line all one word this should re tell us that i think we're on line three yes and if we were up here, we would be on line one. So that's how you can detect where the um, caret is. Um, and line count, of course, gives you the overall. Oh, hey, no. Line count. Um, what well, should return the total? It should be three, right? That's the total number of lines. So again, I'm using here a notepad, but this will work with a lot of different windows of um, that have, especially the edit controls, right? Those are very prevalent. Um, and the other ones with the check boxes and radio boxes, uh, that's what they're called, radio boxes and check boxes. But um, you can detect what things are set. It's a great way of, again, if you're trying to configure a certain program a certain way and detect if, how it's configured, these are really, really cool for that kind of stuff. Cheers.